All right, so now we're gonna we're in the basement. We're gonna look at this. So, as you can see, we have a crawl space. So this is up at the front, and we're just coming around. So, you, so as you can see, that's where I went and uh, put some foam in, and uh, so. So that's brick along there, then we get to some cement. So obviously when this, uh, I believe the house had crawl space originally, um, other than maybe one area, but uh, the basement was dug out. So here we come, we're coming across our um, power there. So here I threw up some insulation. Uh, and as you can uh, see, that's um, cement down there, and uh, more cement. So we get positioned here near the back. So, so um, this brick pillar was put in by my dad and his father, my grandfather, uh, to shore up the side. Um, because the the bottom wall was drifting a little bit or had drifted and so that kind of kept the wall in place and also supported the the centerpiece. So as you can see there's a center um, section there that the joists are running to. So okay so Continuing on with the basement, so here's where I would patched up after we removed the oil tank. And as you can see, yeah, some cracks and whatnot. The bottom section actually seems better. Um, interestingly, I guess maybe less weather. Um, some insulation that's come down. Here we have our back wall. Um, so as you can see this place was dug out. Um, so this back probably was um, was down to around here and then it was dug out and so we had cement and then I take it this one side is where they kind of came in to do the digging. I'm not sure. Um, and then this is going out to where the back porch is, but I want it to show one section here. So, look at this, February 1919, um, so I guess that's when they, they at least poured that stuff, I'm not sure about the rest of it. Um, so here we have a block wall. This is underneath the back porch. This wall was brick and had completely um, kind of collapsed in. And, <clears throat> and we redid it. And then we had some further stuff up here. <coughs> Excuse me, it's dusty. So um, here's the steps going out <clears throat> and here's the inside <clears throat> so this is the room <clears throat> that that window that we have um, covered with insulation there <clears throat> excuse me so as you can see it's brick wall um, I believe this was probably brick. We skimmed it over recently, and then you can see it was dug out. So, um, you see this post here. So, I'm not sure if we can really make it out, but there was, uh, this was, this is the area where the hatch was, I think, to get into, it was like a root cellar down here. 
And uh, here we have the old furnace. I feel like that. So, I don't know if they use coal. I looked up the specs. You can use coal or oil, but it had been converted over to oil. Um, and if we can make that out. Whoops, I seem to be zooming in here. <laughs> okay. So that's the furnace. <clears throat> so, uh, come around the back here, so you can see this is brick up in here, brick here, so this stuff looks like stone, it's kind of hard to... make out but you notice the, the extra wall offset there kind of stops part way there so I'm not quite sure what that means this looks like it's underpinned um, and this is the old foundation and as you can see we have some Newer plumbing with some older plumbing. And then this right here is part of the plumbing that I think goes with the furnace. And it comes up over, you see we've cut out some of the furnace stuff. So, now we're going to try to go up into this crawl space, which should be fun. <clears throat> So that's probably underneath the fireplace right there. there we go. Up we go. Set the camera in here for a second. So get up in here. Okay, so there we're underneath the fireplace. You can see that's brick. Oops, try to keep the camera level. Seems to be a little makeshift brick pillar here to try to keep. <coughs> Is level. I don't know. Until I get these pipes out. Alright, we keep, uh, since I got gloves on. I keep uh, zooming. <laughs> I don't mean to. Okay. Um, so these are old steam pipes. Not sure what all this stuff is. And we see some new, newer wood here, as well as uh, we see some charring. So at some point, I must have been 
a fire wasn't in the last 50 years so I don't know when it occurred and as you can see we got all manner of interesting junk that's been put up here over the years this is as bad as this is like going through some tight cave passages, I tell you. So, uh, I think my mom had crawled up here at one point and put some insulation in. <laughs> I don't know if we can get a shot of some of this stuff so you really can't see the foundation much. <clears throat> Okay, so there's been some insulation stuffed up in there. Yep. Coming up on the front of the house. <clears throat> So there's the pipes branching off. I think this pipe right here goes up and goes actually to the upstairs bedroom. And then these like go over, head over that way um, to uh, the other side. <coughs> sweeping along now I believe this section here the board outside was deep enough that it um, blocked the air whereas we get over here we really weren't blocking the air <coughs> if you could see all that dust in the air oh great I just put more dust section that come apart from the outside as well Don't know. oh yeah you remember some some places where there was some insulation poking out <laughs> I think that's it right there uh -huh. okay so now we're heading over to where we started from So we're going to be wanting to cut all these pipes here out at some point. So there's definitely insulation stuffed. So it's possible that going underneath the front porch is the best way to um, get that foam insulation in place. <coughs> Being that it's actually tighter down here. Here we go. Yeah, you know what that is. Okay, this is getting kind of tight, but we're almost done. 
And uh, here's that. <coughs> okay, this is the tightest spot right here. And uh, that's how far I got with the foam before uh, you notice like there was a pipe cut right there. I cut that pipe out the other day. All right, here we go. Huh. So uh that's the crawl space. No. <coughs> Marvelous, fun. But this is kind of interesting. And like, I must have an awful lot of gravel in that cement. Being that we're on the inside, I don't think it's deteriorated. They had a definitely different idea of, of uh, foundations back then. Luckily, I got a ladder on this side. And there we go. <laughs> and we're on the ladder. We're going out. So. We managed to get around. position here. Zoom up. Interesting, huh? So I think I'm gonna go on the outside and put the foam being that I get easier to crawl through there than here. So That's it for my basement. <clears throat> so, this is a crawl space underneath the back porch just for purposes of uh, so this is the section underneath the back porch <coughs> 